Yo, what's going on guys, it's Phantom here. Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. So last time we covered auras. I told you guys how to change your aura around and I'll show you a little clip of that right now. Pretty cool. Now I'm gonna get into something else. So you're gonna see right here that I changed my leather jacket here. Instead of black, I made it blue. And it looks pretty damn good if you ask me. Okay, we're gonna get into how to do this. So this is what it looked like before. That's what it looks like after. So starting off with just our video that we imported. Here's our first step. We're going to duplicate the clip. So control C, control V, and on Mac, that's command C, command V. There you go. If, if you're on Mac, you're a little weird, but it's okay. We, we still love you. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's, let's double click on the top clip and we're going to do a mask, photo brush tool. Let's go. Now I am going to say that if you're trying to do something that has a design, it's going to be a lot harder, but uh, overall it's the same concept. It's just going to be harder to mask. All right, so we're just going to draw on the jacket here it's just like that pretty good it's gonna give us a very scuffed mask but uh we're going to ignore it for now let's just head over to the other side and do kind of the same thing okay so this is what we're getting we got to do a lot of uh changes so we're going to hold down alt this is for the red which uh, minimizes the mask so we're just going to select the areas that we do not want so like over here so now we want to extend it up here so now we're going to use green green extends the mask and red shrinkens it so around the edges looks pretty good i'm just trying to see around here okay all right so we got our first frame here so now we're going to want to run through our clip so i'm going to go backwards a little it's going to make the mask and we just got to basically edit it uh, we're going to see here it looks pretty good um i don't really see anything wrong we're going to go to the very beginning because i kind of started like in the middle for some reason um this green here is going to move back this is what's going to be rendered so you could kind of view it. So once this finishes, it's going pretty fast. I got I got a, a super fast computer. Okay, you see what's going on here, you know. So it did a pretty good job eliminating my hands, but now it's not getting this part of the jacket. So we're going to have to tell it to, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We got some of those little spots we got to do. All right, that's pretty good now. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> All right, I, I think that's good. We're, we're gonna go with this. Just a little more there. Uh, you don't gotta go crazy with the mask, but the better your mask is, the better it's gonna look. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I think that's good. We're now going to go to the next frame. And it's gonna be a lot of work right now because uh, I'm moving my hands and stuff. Forty minutes of masking definitely did underestimate this but it's done all right looks pretty good it looks good enough <laughs> all right well, once we got something we like we're going to now freeze it oh man my back now you're gonna see it's going to edit that i'm gonna go stretch so this took forever uh, but i mean like i said the more time you spend the better it look i wanted it to look pretty good I could have even spent like probably another like 20 minutes, probably like a full hour on this. But anyway, we're going to get to the good stuff. Oh, my voice. Okay. In the effects, we're going to look up hue and saturation. Uh, we're going to want to drag it onto our clip. So right here, boom. And it's going to look something like this. Depending on what you want to do, uh, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to go to colorize. So you could change this hue and get different colors. Uh, I'm going to put it on like a blue. So I'll just keep going until I get a nice blue here. And the saturation, let's just say I put out like 50. It's very like, it's very little blue. So you can't really see it too much. If I was to max this thing out at 100, you could definitely see a lot. I'm going to keep it at 100. This is basically like how much it's shown in a way. Now let's go back to our composition. You could see, damn, you could see our final result. All that masking work we put in, it's right here to show. Oh, wow. It came out really good. There are going to be little stuff that I could, you can see how this is colored in. I mean, if you want it to look perfect, you got, you got to put in that time. You feel me? Oh, that's so cool. Hey, I'm surprised myself. I ain't going to cap. Well, overall, damn, I feel like this is a success. Here's some extra things you could do. You could do like a change in color if you want with keyframes. So we're going to hit this right here. And now... We could actually change it. So we're going to go to a future frame. Let's just go out a little bit. Uh, let's close the effects. 
so then we could see our keyframe so just that's our starting keyframe let's go a little ahead like over here and now we're going to change it to a different color by using this just say like a like that now you're going to see that actually changes pretty cool so i could just go all the way to the end and change this to like a color and you're going to see it's going to like develop over time so look at that pretty cool see it guys th that's how you do it uh it does take a lot of time for the masking the masking is the only hard part so depending on how much time you put into it you'll get a better result well guys i'm gonna go to sleep see you in the next video uh next time maybe we'll do how to change eye color or how to change uh, objects which is basically the same thing but it's gonna be a lot easier see you then it's been phantom here i'm gonna knock out Peace out.